Um, this is one of the paddocks they've been on. This was the night paddock for the dairy cow. So you see where we're at. We're at the back side of our greenhouse. You see where Daddy-O and them are just finishing off that hay. Then we'll move them. But you see what I'm doing with this old hay? I'm actually spreading it all over. So this is the hay that they didn't eat that they either, you know, use the restroom in, drop manure in, laid on, and so they're not gonna eat it. So now there's two things I, I do with this hay. I'll take the good hay that seems a little dry and decent, which is not for cows. I'll take it and put it in with the hogs. The hogs love it. They bed in it, they, they even eat some of it, and they just love it. They play in it, so it's just a good thing to have for them. And all this junky, nasty, wet hay that's got manure all in it, I'll take it and I'll just spread just like I'm doing. You see I'm just spreading it all over. And especially in some of the spots that didn't grow as good last year. Maybe some of the spots they were in heavy where it had a lot more dirt and the grass is not as good. This will help deep bed our pasture. Remember, this is Bahia hay. So Bahia has a ton of seed in it even when it's wrapped up and even when it's been bogged down. It'll grow a ton of new grass. So what we're going to do is take this, put it on some of the rocky areas. So you're basically adding more organic matter to where you need grass to grow for this next spring. So that's what we're doing now. Actually, I'm just walking the fence row. We actually own a piece of property that's at the very back side of our homestead that's just raw land. I mean, you can see it. It's just raw pine thicket. Uh, beautiful grass. If we ever decided to cut it and actually make it a hay field or either make it more paddocks, I don't really need it. It's kind of on the back side of a church, kind of that way. So, anyways, we just kind of had to check it. There's some work getting done by another all land owner and I just want to make sure everything was okay. It's always good to know, you know, my line is my line, his line is his line. So we just kind of did that for a little bit. Uh, the things we didn't get to on the vlog yesterday uh, or the or the last vlog, excuse me, is uh, fixing the silage tarps, putting more silage tarp down on the gardens, um, building the new paddocks for um, Daddy-O and the beef cows, and then also uh, getting the other kind of the pig nets and all that kind of out and, and re doing deep bedding in their in their permanent uh fencing so all that stuff we're going to try to get done today let's go ahead and get done with that i just had to finish this up uh i think everything's good we'll drive back to the house and uh just enjoy the views of uh, uh the beautiful uh natural fine thicket and pine
Hayden actually is beating me to it. We don't have to hay the cows today because they're on fresh grass. But we've got to get the, the hay. You see how nasty and wet all this is? We gotta get some more hay in there for them. Okay, so we're done with the, the little pigs. We've got them deep bedded and they're having a blast. They're digging in it, playing in it, eating in it. So they're having a good time. So we're gonna let them be okay. You see, we still have a good bit over here to do. So we're gonna get started on it, finish it up, and then we're gonna work on our silage tarps and get them finished too. But she's getting more and more nesty. She's starting to build more nest. So I know she's getting close to, to having her piglets. So we're kind of keeping an eye on her. That's why I want to get her out of this mud. I know it's supposed to flood, but uh, right now we got pretty days. I'm gonna try to deep bed what I can. See, there's a lot of water still right there by her little hog hog cover. So I gotta get that covered up and then all this water right there, we've gotta get covered up too. It looks so good when you get it done, but as much rain as we've had lately, you know, I think we get 20 something inches in January and 15 inches so far in February. So it's been crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and get this deep bedded. The little pigs are enjoying it she's already loving it and we gotta get this area finished here and then we'll finish up the rest of our chores All right, so pigs are done. Aiden's finishing up the last two loads. We, we're not going to get to the uh, the new temporary fencing for uh, Daddy O and the beef cattle just because we've run out of time. But we've got the pigs in great bedding, so we're happy with that. Last chore of the day, uh, and last chore for this vlog anyway. Sun's going down. We're going to get this silage tarp here and roll it out and go ahead and cover the last little piece of this, this uh, garden and go ahead and take the old pig fence down and get it silage tarp too. All right, we have got all the new ones on. Everything is covered now. So it's one continuous solid sharp puzzle. And it's looking good. The only spot that's not covered is where the chickens were originally. And we'll actually do that on another day. It's coming to a very close end to the day. All right. As you can see, we've got a lot done. Got the cows taken care of the last few days. Got the pigs taken care of. Got the salad tarps done. Uh, the only thing left to do really is deal with the chickens a little bit more and get them moved and also put a few more silage tarps down there and build a temporary paddock for the cows. So, man, been busy the last few days. Got a lot done. Glad, uh, glad we've got a lot done. Aiden's helped me tremendously the last two days. And uh, I'm always thankful for that. So. Hope you're enjoying our vlogs. Uh, the Max are always got something going on, especially during garden season. It even gets more crazy, and we're moving cows a whole lot more during this time. And bees are kicking off. Just all kind of fun around here. So we hope you enjoy what you see. We hope that you'll come back. We hope that you're subscribed. If you're if you're not subscribed, we hope that you'll go down here and subscribe, ring the bell, share the Max. And most of all, enjoy your day.
God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.